Hi guys, Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Monday video report going to break down the Orange Bowl clash between Virginia Tech and Stanford in just a moment. Remember, if you didn't take advantage of the $15 off coupon code that I gave you in yesterday's video report, it is still usable today, and that code is simply January 15. The uh, word January, the number 15, no spaces between them, January 15. Enter when prompted in your shopping cart and you will save $15 off of any single purchase you make today. And remember, of course, these uh, coupons and discounts, etc., are only available here on the daily video reports. I try to do them once or twice a week uh, throughout the year. I've been doing it for about six, seven months now, in fact. Uh, yesterday took a split in the NFL, but it wasn't the good kind of split. Uh, hit the teaser with the Steelers and the Packers, and that was a five-dime play, but lost the ten-dime play on the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, what a pathetic effort by the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, they had the third seed, the third seed wrapped up right there for them to take in the AFC playoffs, which meant, you know, a more favorable first round game, uh, which also meant that if they were possibly going to advance throughout the playoffs, uh, they wouldn't have to face the New England Patriots until the AFC title game, which, hey, I didn't think there's any chance that they were going to do that anyway, but still something to play for yesterday, and you were seeking revenge against the Oakland Raiders. Instead, they lay a total egg against an Oakland team that's minus their top player in uh, McFadden, the running back, who was out with the toe injury as well. I mean, a total, total disaster. I don't get it. I mean, a young team without much playoff experience, you would think that they'd want to win that finale in order to carry some momentum in the playoffs. Instead, the Colts, who also played a pathetic game against the uh, Tennessee Titans, needing an Adam Venantieri, uh, field goal and a little luck after they fumbled the ball and then Tennessee fumbled it back to them with a minute and a half to play uh, in that contest uh, getting the 23-20 win so the Colts of course wrap up the number three seed which means they of course get to host the New York Jets now next weekend but more about the NFL playoffs and stuff later in the week um, you know the Orange Bowl here tonight it's very interesting uh, a week ago I thought, uh, as a matter of fact, as recently as Thursday, when I was doing some radio interviews, I thought Virginia Tech was going to be the play here tonight. And the reason why is I looked at the Stanford team and I thought, you know, they played one extremely athletic, quick team this year. And it was Oregon. And you know what happened there as they got drilled 52-31 to 31 in uh, Eugene uh, this season. And I thought, you know, Virginia Tech, with that dynamic backfield they have, Tyrod Taylor, who I never really liked much as a quarterback, uh, coming into this year, but, you know, cannot deny the fact uh, the guy has simply had a phenomenal season here, just looking at some of my notes. I mean, this guy, 24 touchdown passes, four interceptions, run 130 times this year as well. Um, you know, so he has had a great year for uh, Virginia Tech. But as the weekend progressed, I started thinking about Stanford. You know, they've got that big physical offensive line, uh, a team that grinds out over 200 yards a game on the ground, a team that provides Andrew Luck outstanding pro, uh, protection. Uh, that offensive line's only given up five sacks this season. And we have seen this year at times where Virginia Tech has certainly been dominated in the trenches. So I'm thinking now, you know, Stanford minus three and a half points by down the half point to three might be the way to go. Well, when I start thinking that way, you know, flipping sides in a matter of 72 hours, that's a game you just shouldn't play. Uh, so that's why instead my best bet tonight is actually in Big Ten college basketball on uh, Northwestern and uh, Michigan State. Uh, but continuing on here, you know, you've got a Virginia Tech team that has won 11 straight games going 10 and uh, one against the spread in that stretch since opening the season with consecutive losses to Boise State and James Madison in a five-day stretch. Of course, since the Oregon loss, you've got uh, Stanford with seven straight wins. Um, you know, Virginia Tech not only has Tyrod Taylor in the backfield, they've got uh, Darren Evans who ran for over 800 uh, yards this year, and he got extra carries because Ryan Williams, also an extremely talented back, uh, had some hamstring problems this year. Uh, but he, along with David Wilson, uh, that trio really, really uh, gave Tyrod Taylor plenty of ground support and made that Virginia Tech offense go this year. Of course, the ACC in bowl games, 2 and 10, and I should say, excuse me, in BCS bowl games, 2 and 10 straight up. 2 and 10 straight up. That's why everybody always rips on the ACC as not being a quality conference come postseason time. Maybe they should be ripping on the Big Ten after that miserable New Year's Day performance by all the Big Ten schools, right? 0 and 5? Uh, you know, 
Uh, another intangible to think about tonight is that this could possibly and most likely will be Jim Harbaugh's last game as Stanford's head coach because Harbaugh reportedly rumored to be courted by the San Francisco 49ers for their head coaching job. Or if Michigan pushes uh, Rich Rodriguez out the door, Harbaugh, a former Wolverine quarterback, could go uh, back to Ann Arbor. Uh, Andrew Luck could be his final game as well. Let's face it, this guy's going to play the number one pick in the uh, draft. You know, and Luck is not only a very good quarterback that has an outstanding ground game to support him, but this is a guy who isn't afraid to tuck the ball either under and uh, take off. You know, he ran the ball 50-some uh, times this season, averaged almost nine yards a carry. He is a big guy to take down. Um, so again, you know, Luck is going to be facing a Virginia Tech pass defense uh, in terms of its secondary, one of the best in the nation, ranked eighth in the nation in terms of pass efficiency. Also, 22 interceptions already this season. Hokies, negative about them, 1-26 and 26 straight up in their last 27 games against top five teams. Now, listen, I know the number, it's just a number, and Stanford is number five in the country, but you can't deny, you lose 26 out of 27 games to top top five teams over the years, you simply do not deliver when the uh, big games are on the floor for you. Um, so, which way to go? You know, I think I could go against Stanford, and I think back to how they barely got by Arizona State 17-13 uh, on the road in Tempe this season. You know, I can think about how they lost to Oregon. I can think about how as a 10-point home favorite, they barely got by a flawed USC team, but another team with a lot of speed and athletes on it, 37-35. But all things considered, I still believe that our offensive line, giving luck to protection and opening up holes, and um, their ability to at least contain Tyrod Taylor and Pokes for Virginia Tech. And again, Virginia Tech's won 11 straight games, but again, this team lost to Boise State, and James Madison had to come back from a couple touchdowns down to uh, beat NC State earlier this year as well. So I lay the three and a half points, buy down the half point in this case, if you're going to play and go with Stanford. I'm not playing it, but that's the way I would go. Good luck, everybody. And uh, again, that money-saving discount coupon code is January 15th, and I'll catch you again on Tuesday.